Good morning, everybody. In real life, it's Saturday morning, and I'm sat here with my freshly brewed coffee and looking out over this water that uh, the Swedish television network kindly provides us with. It's a stream from the forest. They stream from the forest and they have a counter uh, down here <laughs> about how many moose have swimmed, swam across a river and so far there's been two and I missed it. <laughs> Hi! Oh, I want to pet him. It's just so peaceful to sit here and watch the moose and see what they do. And oftentimes when I edit, I leave the stream up uh, so I can see if something happens. Good morning, moose. Oh, he hid be behind the tree. <laughs> he was going full speed and then he stopped. Hello. <laughs> I think it's a he because it looks like it, he's gonna get horns. I think they drop their horns every year and grow new ones. Which should mean there should be a lot of horns laying about in the forest. And we should be able to find them. But I have never seen one. <laughs> Anyway, The Sims. Susan. Today we are going to visit our good friend Professor Elwin Rongedal and he wants to get married. Uh, his lifetime wish is to raise 20 puppies or kittens. So he's raising them here. <laughs> And he also wants to be BFF with Eileen. And Eileen wants to marry a wealthy Sim. So she has been laying it in on thick on him. So they are actually engaged. And he wants to marry her. But we need to check. Um, she is on Sunday morning. And the professor is on Saturday morning. So he has a whole day before he is synced with her. Oh dear. But he could like clean up a bit and then bring her over uh, to like help seal the deal and maybe they, then they can have a little marriage. Because um, with the money he has, he counts it rich by the game. I checked. Oh, she asked. <laughs> he also wants to get fit. So we could try and achieve that uh, and we should probably see what the animals are doing. Oh my goodness, is there a food shortage? No, there is not. There is food so Lily here could just go and eat. I'm having such trouble with with them. They don't go and eat. Blood is eating. Okay. I don't know if Lily is expecting more puppies. I think I want them to be happy first. Mm. Oh dear, he's losing enthusiasm about fitness. Does he have like some sort of training equipment? No. Does he have a TV or stereo? No. Maybe we just buy him a stereo so he can work out. And one of these is good, I think. Can we have it here? No, something is in the way. A little bone. I, I kind of like it here by the sofa. Turn that on. C can't you do a workout? Mm. Oh dear, this dog is all dirty too. Well, okay. He wants to do a workout, so we'll, we'll do that first. Yeah, and then we'll Eximinal. see if we can fix the animals. He doesn't have a job, so he has time. There you go, uh, body level point, and now he he's not too happy. Well, okay, who's doing something? Aragorn is sleeping here, so pre praise him for uh, staying up for bed. Now he wants to have a job in the education career, which makes sense, he is a professor. I'm not too sure that's a smart idea right now. We'll wait and see. 
Boy. Yeah, go to bed. What is the cat doing? Aw, she's in the pet bed. I think. I think the Sims 2 pets look so good. Like, I think Sims 4 pets might look better, but, you know, for being Sims 2, don't they? <laughs> these look very good. I just feel like they do. Why am I holding the cup like this? It has a handle. Oh dear. The phone is making sounds and it needs to go to the bathroom. I hope he has time for <laughs> to do that. Okay, who called him? Lexi Seifert. Okay, but he wants to talk to Eileen now? He also has a very good relationship with Krista Gode, which is expecting a child. And they have more bolts, but now Eileen managed to, to engage him. So I think... I mean, Krista has been very like hard to get. So, it might be that the professor actually chooses Eileen. What are you doing now? You're talking to some random woman that called the phone. Who is she even? We don't know. <laughs> and we got the mail. Oh, the dogs are kind of behaving with the mailman. That, that is good. I think Lily is kind of happy right now. So, oh, we can we could try for puppy with with this other dog. I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, right, I can check. <laughs> Does she even know that dog? No, so I don't think she's going to want to. Uh, so try for puppy with Lude again. So we're gonna create a lot of puppies here. Once they reach um, maturity, we need to like get rid of some dogs because there's gonna be a lot of dogs here. <laughs> also, I don't remember why we have this cat. Oh, we get jobs for the for the, the animals. Well, that's smart because uh, if they make a lot of money, <laughs> then we don't have to. Pero, pero. Yeah, uh, you have a take a bath. No, uh, did did he do it? Drive a puppy with Lude. I don't oh. know if he, he actually asked the dog to do that. Go make a puppy. Uh, oh, they can't because there's a puppy in the way. <laughs> Praise the puppy for staying off beds and try again. Because when you when you praise the puppy, you, you wake it up, so it can move. Oh, wait, congratulations, your little puppy grew into a healthy adult dog. Oh, that's nice. I'm not going to look at you. That is not at all what I thought he would look like. Okay, and Ariana also. A little bit more predictable, I feel. Yes, now take a bath regardless of if the dogs are gonna ah, successfully mate or not. We should move this pet bowl. I can't do it. <laughs> uh, uh, too many dogs. And then, okay, so he needs to start selling dogs. I don't know if you can sell them or you just give them away. But he should be putting his... Oh my goodness. He should be putting his money into an account because I think we can expect larger bills when it's like this. It's not good. <laughs> and then we need to fix the computer first. And then also he needs to invite people over. Deposit. 20,000 at least. Why haven't I done this before? I don't know. Maybe I forgot to do it. So now he has a bank account. Account? I need to note this because I feel like sometimes... If you accidentally uninstall a mod or anything, those money could just be gone. And we don't want that. So deposit also 3,000. I think when he get married, uh, if he get married to Eileen, in order for her wish to fulfill, he needs to take all the money out again. So we'll have to remember that. That might be why I have it like this. But now we are good to go. Uh, did you clean yourself off? Yes, you did. And first we're gonna call someone over and see if we can sell them. I feel like we should sell them these dogs. Yeah, because these are the breeding dogs <laughs> I have decided. We could, of course, do... Like, uh, we keep Ariana and breed on her instead. And then... But then we need a new male dog because she's related to all these other dogs <laughs> so that could be a problem but it, it could it could be fun to like have a line of dogs i guess also i just i just decided i'm not gonna worry about dogs 
ages matching up. I am just going to sell them to whoever. And I was thinking that uh, people would want dogs and they would like receive wants to get a dog and then I will sell them to those people. However, that has not been happening. So I'm just gonna do like the first one that I'm not in a relationship that has a home. Okay, and that's Aina. So see if she wants to come over. Can I invite her over? And see if I, if I know how to do this. I don't know. Can my friend come over to... Yes, she can. Whoever that is, it's fine. He has no loan, so we can safely pay all bills. Oh, there's there's so much to do at this lot. Who did you bring? Steve Ackerdel. Okay. Um, greet. Can I greet everyone? No, no, that's that's not possible. Okay, you can't like go about all your chores while you are receiving guests. Hello, Steve. Uh -huh. Now, do we, do we have the option to like sell a dog, or how does it work? Okay, I'm I'm gonna have a quick Google. You click on a neighbor, hit sales, and then sell pet name here. People are saying it's either under the propose or sales option. So let's see if we have any of those. Sales, pet. Oh, who are we going to save then? Well, uh, I'm gonna start with selling Aragorn, I think. Wait, we should like check which one do we like better? Like this is a very good dog. She is also a very good dog. <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, I, um, I'm gonna keep Ariana. So we are going to try and sell Aragorn. Sell uh, to her. Are you sure you want to sell him? Yes. Do we get money? Let's see if we get any monies. What is happening now? Are they going to go get him? Like, imagine if this was a Sims 4, they would just like click, it's done. But they actually go get him. Yeah, okay, are you, are you gonna take him? She doesn't have money for it, really? What? Oh, wait, is it because we don't? she doesn't like us enough? Maybe that's why. So maybe if we like talk to her a little bit more, it will be better. <laughs> we don't like Steve at all. <laughs> okay, so now do you wanna buy my pet? Maybe it might be just because she doesn't have the money. So she this might never go well. Uh, but I'm gonna try again and see if it goes better this time. What are you doing now? Yes, I'm sure. No, she still doesn't have the money, even though she likes us better. Okay, uh, should we like... I don't think that Krista has the money to, but we could try anyway. So invite her over. We'll have to make sure we'll make her leave before we invite over the fiance. Is it already Saturday evening? Apparently. That means that the professor is now 61 year old and try to greet Krista and get those bills paid real quick. Uh -huh. I really thought it would be Krista that he got married to, but now he is engaged to Eileen. So we'll, we'll see what happens. So instead, <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna kiss her. Instead of marrying her, he's gonna sell her a dog if she can forward one I don't know um try and sales pet I don't know yes I'm sure I still want to try and sell that dog let's see how this goes she's gonna go inspect him and then she's gonna go and tell us what her decision is I guess <gasps> she she got him does this mean she's gonna have less money next time I play her I don't know but we stole the dog and the thing about sims is that since eileen is on set sunday morning and the professor is on saturday evening they are now the same they are now synced aged wise so but he he really needs to sleep so we'll have him sleep he sold one dog that, that's gonna be enough oh my goodness now she's playing with the dog that she has bought. Fantastic. Uh, I think... I don't know if we're gonna try and like in, invite Krista to the wedding. Just because I want her to know that um, 
that the professor is is not like she, she's she can't like keep her pursuing that she needs to like look elsewhere for love someone is calling in the middle of the night why hi professor elvin hey did i ever mention to you that i work in the discount home furnishings warehouse if your household ever needs to buy anything for your home i'll make sure that your household gets it at a low cost well that's nice because i'm about to buy, buy a wedding arch and have a wedding <laughs> so okay still in the middle of the night i kind of want him to be rested but we need to behave our dogs a little bit now what is this oh no the cat has bugged out what are you doing okay now we're having the double bed problem again but now we know oh we have a bone here that's silly let's put it up there if we do this, then the cat can't get to the bed and she stops glitching out. Awesome. But we could praise her for staying off Sim's bed so that she doesn't try it again. And I could put this back because the professor needs it to sleep. Oh, he can't sleep. He's not tired enough now. Well, that's a bit silly, isn't it? There they go. <laughs> I think this is a very handy tool. Uh, to have the dogs uh, make new dogs, regardless of what anybody says. And I don't know how, how we know um, that it was successful, but it might have been. I don't know. There, it is now uh, Sunday morning and the professor has been practicing some chess over here. And we are getting new bills, apparently. No. Uh, we're getting a newspaper. No, I'm gonna greet up. her, and then well, it can't be helped. We <laughs> we need to like withdraw everything from here because today we are getting married to Eileen because the professor really wants to get married. I think like he has no children, so it might be that he wants some children, but we'll we'll see. <laughs> Because, it, like, he has no wants for it. We'll see what happens. There, and now we're gonna buy a wedding arch. And I'm gonna put it over here. And I, I'm not gonna make it... Or do we put it in, in here somewhere? We could just have it here. It looks nice, doesn't it? I don't know. And how do we do? Do we throw party? Or how does it work? Wedding party. Let, let's see if Ugh. this works. Get a poncho. Maybe we, we can also get rid of yeah, the cat <laughs> to make room for puppies and whatnot. All right, who do we invite? I'm just gonna go on. Like we invite the fiance. Do we invite these? Um, I kind of feel like I don't do that. Uh, and just invite everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, the wedding is on and the guests are on their way. Let the festiv festivities begin. Just yes, because I don't, like, we don't invite old lovers because it, it's risky and it might not be smart. I don't know. See how he, like, went to the toilet. Oh, here's everyone. I didn't even check who I invited, but oh, here they all are in a row nicely. <laughs> This is what uh, Sims looks like in a row, <laughs> apparently. Everyone is going to be in their outer wear because uh, it's winter. That's fine. They keep changing when they go in though. Well, okay. Let's just get married and see how that. What? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I think I think it's fine. They have a really high relationship meter, so it should be fine. I think. Oh my God! He, here she is. She shows to wear red to the wedding. Okay. Well, they're. I. <laughs> they have uh, flat noses. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I just. Thought it was fun. They, they looked kind of similar in that regards. Oh, everyone is changing to their formal wear and probably getting very cold. So Chanel is here and her twin sister Jackie and Amar, Lily Samuelson, Aina Vai and Caroline Milbrandt. Okay. Ibsen. 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 Oh, this is nice. 
No one ran away. I hope this means... Oh, shows the last name for this couple. Uh, the other Sim. So now they're both uh, the wrong at all couple. So we are going to move uh, Eileen in our spreadsheet there. And let's see. Oh my goodness. She, oh, uh, she didn't fulfill this one, but she wants to have a baby. Well, let's let's just wait a little moment. See if this fulfills. I don't. I don't know why it doesn't. I'm going to like fulfill it for her. You press, you hold control and press it and then it fulfills because I think this counts. I don't know why it didn't. And she wants to have a baby so are they going to try right now? Maybe they need to like um, take care of their guests a little bit first. Can we buy a wedding cake perhaps? Uh, she brought what 109 simoleons is that all you had eileen seriously well if that's if that's the way it is then i guess it's the way it is so we can go cut the wedding cake and then i think don't think anyone is gonna get married for a while so i'm just gonna sell that right away <laughs> are the guests gonna come here too uh... <laughs> No, they don't care. <laughs> That's a real problem in the same game that stuff happens and people aren't really reacting the way they should. I mean, he he should like before he goes, he should like do this hand gesture and calling out like, "Hey, we're gonna go cut the cake now. Come follow me." And then he could like wait a bit until people came. Yeah, there's there's some improvement. To be done <laughs> for sure not that sims 4 is any better at all okay so like i can't sell ariana because we're gonna keep her and i can't sell these two because i don't know if they made more puppies yet <laughs> but i can't sell the cat i don't know why he has the cat probably he wanted a kitten and he got a kitten and it counts towards his lifetime goal, probably. Uh, maybe Caroline. Uh, Chanel lives in a house that already has a cat. So maybe Caroline wants the cat. Try and sell the cat. Wait, did she just throw up? I, I missed it. Did she? Oh my goodness, he she likes Glen Pala a lot. Okay, but, well. I, I don't know what she's playing at with that, but she is now Eileen Rongedal and she lives here with the professor. You sure want to sell the cat, yes. Let's see if this goes well. Uh, we should also clean the ball a bit. Oh, are you taking her to the cat? The cat is over here. It's a very good cat. Look how good she is. Uh -uh. Oh, I can't afford my cat. I'm sorry. Well, that's too bad. What about Jackie? Do you want a cat? Um, let's just try. I don't know if that's a good idea. What are you doing now? Now, well, uh, he wants to talk to Krista and Eileen. I think let's go talk to the wife. Yeah. They are very happy right now. They're both in platinum. So I almost feel like I don't need to do something because they are very happy. He to command Ludde to come here. How do I do that? Command, come here. Well, the party is a roof racer. Everyone is really happy. There's no drama or anything. Everything is just happy. Oh, he talks for a long time with her. Oh no, Lily is having trouble. Where is Lily? Maybe maybe it's uh, this bed. I don't know. Yeah, that did it. <laughs> Scold her for using a sim bed. Maybe. If we remember to. Oh no, the cat peed on the floor. Not good. What are you doing? Oh yeah, this week was amazing. Yeah, you got married. Let's make next week more of the same. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna try. Like if... <laughs> if Eileen is indeed pregnant, then I bet you're gonna be happy. Oh, well, now that she moved in, we can like deposit this all this money again uh deposit twenty thousand. this is a nice party 
<laughs> Everyone is doing their thing. These two are having a nice time. The dog is having fleas or something. I don't know. I can't get over how little money Eileen brought into the household. Like, he, she had a house. How did she not bring more money? It's weird. I don't know where that went. She may have had a loan. No, I didn't know that she had a loan. <laughs> it's a mystery, I don't know. The wedding party was a roaring success. Congratulations. Final, pa final party store score, roof razor. Oh, Fantastic. And try and relax over here because Eileen wants a baby. Mama wants a baby. Born if she can get there, Beetle we'll see. Oh, so well, he thinks she is very nice. What are you trying to do now? Lily, is it the bed? <laughs> I'm not even bothered to check anymore. What is it? It's a double bed, but the professor is going to the bed. She, she can't... <laughs> well, she, she will just have to realize that this bed is taken. All right? Okay, there. <laughs> uh, I need to figure out what mod is causing that. <laughs> I don't know. There is no option. There is no option to, to try for baby, which probably means she already pregnant. I didn't even remember them doing it. But if she's pregnant, then well, hello. Be, stop being silly and do the woohoo. You just got married. Even though she's already pregnant, you can still do that. And now someone's calling. It's a bad timing and she wants to go on a vacation like sort of a honeymoon probably but it's not fun to do that when they are pregnant so i'm not not going to uh she can just answer the phone instead but they're busy cuddling and rightfully so so cute and they have rings on now hi stranger i thought you might have been abducted by aliens or something you just attended my wedding <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> they just aged up another year, so and that means that the prof professor is now uh, 62 and Eileen is now 36. And I think I'm gonna note her as pregnant because I think she is. Which is fun because uh, now we have Eileen is pregnant and Krista is pregnant and Katarina might be pregnant and I, I'm pretty sure she is. So those three babies are gonna be born pretty much at the same time. And I hope they're gonna be friends. Hi Eileen, is Professor Elwin available to talk? Sure. Um, she doesn't know, I think. I'm gonna take all the beds and I'm gonna <laughs> hide them from the stupid pets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going crazy. Yep, yep, I just got married. Um, yep, still love you. <laughs> I mean, we could, we could invite her over and make sure that, that she kisses his wife first. Because it's... But what, what if... Okay. Do you want to go on a date with me to Pleasant City? No, I just got married. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> like he's a family sim, he's not gonna be doing that. Um, I thought I might invite her over, but you know, as soon as a lover comes over, they kiss and that might upset the wife. So that, that's not smart. I want to kiss the wife in front of Krista. So I guess we'll just have to wait until she comes over by herself or something. Now, Eileen knows Aaron, so I think like if she calls him and tries to sell him the cat, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> I think. Well, or maybe Vanessa. Glenn could need some company. Let's just invite him over. Oh, Oren is already here. Okay, well, greet him. <laughs> oh, that's why he showed up there, because he's already here. Okay, I get it now. And she can try and... What, what does that mean? Buy off with 50 simoleons? I don't know what that is. What is it? What do you mean buy off? Does he does he know something that we don't want him to know? I don't know. 
Let's try and sell a pet to this man over here. Pet Melvina. Yes. See if he wants a cat. I don't think that means he doesn't have the money. I think he, it means that he doesn't think that the pet is worth the money. Something like that. Yeah. Well, that's too bad, isn't it? Oh, wait. Does Eileen know Krista? Because no. Yes, she does. But she can't invite her over. Please? Because I thought, well, maybe if she invites her, then the professor won't kiss Krista. I don't know. Wait, wait. If the professor... <laughs> I'm trying to do this. Okay, so if the professor asks Krista to come over, and she does come over, but Eileen is the one that greets her, and the professor stays away from her, and then kisses Eileen, then Krista could like break up with him. I think that's what we'll do. I think invite over ho household. Who does she live with? Sure. I thought she was living alone. Oh, right. She she has the dog. Sure. Invite the dog. <laughs> I don't know. Sounds great. Okay, he's keeping on eating cake. Can we put these away? No, we can't. Okay. Okay, now here she is. So I'm gonna have Eileen greet Krista and tell her that, uh, hi, I just married your man and you stay away. Yes. So I think, okay, so this is all Eileen's idea. She invites Krista over and then she goes and kisses the professor. This is a really, oh no, what are you doing? Uh, uh nothing. Okay. This is a really good idea, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, he's kind of busy. Oh, right. Th this is uh, amazing. It's gonna be right in front of Krista. Kiss him. No, stop doing that. But she really needs to get some food. So many things happen. What do you mean two new pets are on the way? <laughs> what happened? Um, uh, already? Why is Lily having puppies now? That she does? Uh, okay. Well, uh, I can't. I can't handle that right now. Uh, <laughs> because I'm having this drama over here. Krista is getting her heart broken and uh, being upset with the professor for kissing his wife. Uh, okay. Well, well, we have we have little female puppy and little male puppy over here. Okay, and this is the bee litter. Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> so many things. Okay, so naturally, since we have Aragorn, we're gonna have Boromir. That's it. And also uh, Bella, I think. I don't know. It's fine. Um, I did not know that that was going to happen so soon. Okay. Well, uh, did you say goodbye to Krista? Because uh, I don't think she want to be here anymore. They still like each other, but they are angry with each other. Or at least the professor still likes her, but there's anger. So um, yeah, that happened. All right, so that was kind of eventful. I, I think they are gonna go to bed now. Who has the bed? <laughs> I took all the beds. <laughs> well, I didn't he have to tell him twice. <laughs> he is old, so he needs his sleep. Uh, she needs to have dinner. Let's have some spaghetti before you start to death, because that's a real possibility when you're pregnant. Oh, they never <laughs> said goodbye to Krista, so she's still here. Oh, look at the time, better go. Aaron, are you gonna go too? Also you, Glenn. Well, it is Monday morning and Eileen has gotten up very early to have a nice morning puke. <laughs> and she wonders, am I pregnant? Uh, yes, Eileen, I do believe that you are. And uh, so I'm gonna leave them here and uh, take care of their taxes while you are gone. <laughs> In the next episode, I think we're gonna go to university and see how Mindy is doing over there because she is in year one and uh, there is no one else going. So until next time, have a super duper time and uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe and Take care. Bye-bye.
This image is kind of boring, isn't it? 